Hey, welcome to Harsin on Leukocyte Adhesion Deficiency, LAD, type 1 specifically. So anyway, why is this macrophage over here, this is the macrophage shows up in a lot of our scenes, why is he so angry? What's going on? So I'll tell you why he's so angry. What happened was, his pet Lafa ran away. Lafa is like a pita bread type of thing, and it ran away, it jumped out the window, and took away these 18 CDs. This to help us remember that in leukocyte adhesion deficiency type 1, there's a defect in LFA1. LFA1 for LAFA, this integrin, which is composed of CD18. The LFA1 protein on phagocytes. If this defect in LFA1 integrin protein on phagocytes leads to impaired migration, represented by this broken boat over here. This boat usually migrates, and now it's broken to help us remember the impaired migration, specifically of neutrophils. Represented by the nachos over here in the water. The nachos in the water tell us, remember, that neutrophils will not be able to make their way to the infection, and thus they'll be found in the blood. There'll be lots of neutrophils found in the blood. All right, so this macrophage guy here is having a really bad day. And in fact, he was eating Reese's chocolate before, and he just doesn't even care about it anymore because he's in such a bad mood. The Reese's chocolate is going to help us remember that leukocyte adhesion deficiency is inherited in autosomal recessive fashion. He's also a little bit frustrated that he's still attached to the umbilical cord over here. To help us remember that in leukocyte adhesion deficiency, there's a late separation of the umbilical cord. It may take more than 30 days. Even worse, this bacteria guy is making fun of him. This bacteria guy is making fun of him, and this bacteria is on this pie that used to be, well, there used to be pie. There's no more pie. It's not pie. It's non-pyogenic. Leukocyte adhesion deficiency leads to non-pyogenic bacterial infections. And finally, the camera. This camera you can see has an eye on it. It has an eye on it. Help us remember iCam. LFA1 usually binds to iCam. And of course, as we mentioned, in leukocyte adhesion deficiency, this is dysfunctional. Alright, thank you so much for watching this scene on leukocyte adhesion deficiency. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.